Hey guys, my name is Tony Tones and I play the role of Lara in The Smart Money Woman. Oh God, I just want to pick up the phone. I love Lara. Lara, Lara is very no-nonsense. She's extremely intelligent. I've tried for you. She's an oil and gas executive and she kicks ass at her job. She's extremely successful. Um, she's an amazing friend to her friends. She's an amazing daughter to her mom, an amazing sibling to her siblings. Um, I love her actually. My name is Shion Wajai and I play Soji on the Spam Money Woman TV series. I knew it. With all the questions he was asking and, you know, um, where was I, I should help him with his homework, I know you put him up to it. Soji is what many people refer to as a vulture husband. Now, he, he lives off his wife and he's very, he's unapologetic about it. Soji, I know and I understand. Do you really? It looks like... When I go out and I'm chasing money, you prefer that I'd rather stay here and depend on you so that you can load it over me. That's not fair. He's trying to do things, but he also, I mean, on his wife's expense, lives, you know, a very extravagant life and he's always hiding behind big projects, big projects that he's working on, if you know what I mean. So he's that kind of guy who, you know, he packages. <laughs> he packages well, you know, and fake, he keeps faking it until maybe one day he will make it. I am Osasi Godaro. I am an actor. I am a mama. I am a lover of life. And yeah, that's me. I play the role of Zuri and um, I think she's amazing and I'm grateful to be able to bring her to life in this amazing project. Yes, Yoma, I sent the email with the correction so you can send it over to Ms. Summit. Yeah. All right. When I first had the opportunity to read the book, Smart Money Woman, I immediately connected with Zuri. It's Zuri, oh. baby! My God, did you read? What do you want? Can't you not? Connected on a personal level, connected family-wise, work-wise, financial-wise, relationship-wise, you know. It was a, it was a really, really um, interesting connection between Zuri and I, and to now be able to bring her to life is a dream come true. Hi guys, my name is Kyrie B. Fubara. I'm an actor. I play Bordé in this series. Uh... How's your day? Fine, doing a little bit of shopping. And then I'm going out with the girls later for some drinks. Shopping, eh? <sighs> About that. Um... I think it's an uh, interesting African role. Um, I think uh, we don't often see uh, the vulnerable side of uh, a male uh, personality that's still strong. Um, so I think it was it was interesting and um, fun to, to show that kind of a character um, that learns to trust and to lean on his wife um, because really, as I see it, marriage is a partnership and if you don't get to that level, anyway, I'll leave that up to you and go to What's going on guys? My name is Esso DK and I play the character Shola in the Smart Money Woman series. Why did you cancel? Oh. Do you need a word? Uh, no, I'm 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 fine. I'm I'm waiting for my new taxi. The other one just. Well, my character is, you know, he's a multifaceted guy. He can do a lot of things, but mostly he is in control, and he teaches Siri some control measures as opposed to 
you know, just being a random guy. He teaches her qualities on how to maintain her money and that is what I like most about that particular character. Hi, I am Amy Dimokoji and I play the role of Tammy in the Smart Money Woman series. Tammy, I, mean, I love this dress. <laughs> uh -uh. Don't you trust me again? Oh my God. Guaranteed you're going to be on Bella Ninja's best dress. Look. I particularly love Tammy um, because she's, she's light. Like, I think to a large extent, you know, she's the heart of the show. Every time she pops on the screen, she makes you smile. She has, she's full of energy, full of life. Look at all these dresses that you're giving, giving us you clean. <laughs> Maybe you did it. It was so interesting to play someone so light and enjoyable. Hey guys, my name is Timison. I play the role of Tejiri in the Smart Money Woman series. Oh, I love him. I love him. Um, I literally just played myself in real life. That's how I am in real life. And. I feel like the character is can be annoying, but it's also very caring and is loyal to his friend Zuri. And yeah, and just makes the, the entire production light-hearted. It can be serious and also fun at the same time. So I really like that character. Hi, my name is Lala Kinoju and I play Adesua in the Smart Money Woman TV series. Um, Adesua is a lawyer, a very successful lawyer. She is, her career is doing very well. Um, she belongs to this tribe of women who are friends who share everything, but she doesn't share everything with them, especially concerning her marriage. That's a lot. Look, I know you work so hard, but you still have to make an effort, eh? So we don't set a bad example. But this, oh God, would you just please stop bugging? Am I not doing all of this stuff so that we can have a comfortable life? So I know and I understand. Do you really? It looks like when I go out and I'm chasing money, you prefer that I'd rather stay here and depend on you. Her marriage is nothing like how she makes it look. Um, she's married to Soji and it's a very bad marriage. Adesua, I think, is very, it's a character that a lot of women will relate to because there's so many women, especially in Nigeria, who have found themselves in this position where they're in a bad marriage they can't speak up, they have to suck it up, and they have to keep up appearances. Hello, my name is Ebenezer Eno, and I play the character Ladu. I remember said when I was shopping for a dress to wear tomorrow. It will not be heard that Ladu wants the same dress twice. Ah, <sighs> my darling, look, that is where you are wrong, okay? About 60% of people at that party will not be children. I think my character is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I love her. Ladu is a real life baby girl. She loves the sweet life, but she has a good heart and a strong spirit and she's just fabulous. So I absolutely love her. Hey guys, what's good? My name is Timini and I play the character of Bobby, AKA B.O.B. Also known as Based on Bobby. You know the vibe. <laughs> I think that my character is very, very interesting. He is a product of unemployment slash laziness slash like trying to just get to the top real quick. So he's what you might popularly call a yahoo boy basically. And he then happens to maybe fall in love, maybe just like a certain character and that's kind of like how his character dynamics evolve. My name is Bola. my friends call me Bobby, but you babies can call me anything you like. A smart money woman is a woman who is financially independent, financially free, who is very clever about her investments, her savings, who doesn't squander money, who is basically extremely cautious, intuitive, and a go-getter when it comes to how she spends her money and how she grows her money. A smart money woman grows her money continuously. A smart money woman is somebody who knows how to save her coins, who knows how to make coins, <laughs> secure the bag, basically. Um, a smart money woman is, of course, smart, um, both financially, emotionally, um, and otherwise. She's an all-rounder. I think I would describe a smart money woman as someone that has learned the fine art of balancing. So, you know, you still go about your business, you can have fun, you can splurge, but within means. A smart money woman is a woman who is prudent, a woman who is financially literate and financially independent, a woman who's not bound by anybody else when it comes to her money and how she can survive. 
a woman who, like I said, is financially literate, knows how to invest, and financially independent. A smart money woman is a woman who makes smart buying, saving, and investment decisions. Someone who is not influenced by what everybody is doing, how everybody is behaving financially, the people around her, but has determined you know, different goals for herself and is working hard towards meeting those goals. A smart money woman is a woman who is strong, a woman who is confident, a woman that knows her flaws and is willing to correct them, a woman that uplifts others while on her way up the ladder, a woman that is definitely open to learning and growing. That's a smart money woman. Love this question. Lara's most irresponsible quality is that when it comes to her family, her mumu, they have her mumu button like this. So she works really hard, she's very successful, she makes all of this money, but she ends up just spending everything on her family. When it comes to her family, her, finan her financial wisdom just goes right out the window, right? And they keep draining her and draining her. So for me, that is her most irresponsible quality. She doesn't know when to stop spending on her family. She literally spends more on them than she spends on herself. Girl, get it together, Lara. But yeah. Honestly, I think it's letting his wife just spend indiscriminately. I think um, she just spends anyhow. Uh, and he doesn't really check her until it's practically too late. And I think a lot of us maybe get into that sometimes. We feel like when you're a busy guy and you know, you're working and you're successful, uh, you substitute attention and time with family with money. So um, I think this character is maybe a bit guilty of that. My character's most irresponsible quality is the fact that she enabled her husband and she was always lying about the situation of her marriage. Lado's most irresponsible quality is she spends money that she has no idea how to make. Well, she probably has an idea, but she can't be bothered. So, Lado is just a big money spender. Zuri's most irresponsible quality is, of course, finance. So irresponsible, but, you know, this is a journey. A journey of growth, a journey of learning and on this show, you will see that Zuri will finally be a smart money woman. I identify with my character, Lara, the most. Um, I like that. I love how much she loves her friends. I love how much she loves her family. And I love how hard she works. I feel like we share those similar qualities. And just we're family oriented and we love our friends. We're very loving people. So my future? identifies with Ladu. Ladu's life is quite desirable. <laughs> Person, they felt embodied the character the most and that was me, luckily. So yeah, I got the role and I feel like I have certain traits the character has and that is why I got the role. Um, I think I identify the most with Lara. Lara is the one I think I identify with the most. I wouldn't say that I identify with one character, rather all of the characters. So for instance, Suri, I identify with her vulnerability, Tammy, her spice for life, um, Lara, her seriousness and focus, um, focusness, I guess you could say, um, Adesua, her love for love and wanting to have stability in love. Um, and Ladoon, you know, being carefree and, you know, I think I can connect with a lot of the characteristics of each character. I think it's be my character. Yeah, I mean, that's literally me. But I also identify with Zuri. Uh, she reminds me of my typical Lagos baby girls, my friends who have their, their work, who need to put their weight in their offices or whatever career they, they choose or they've chosen, sorry. Um, also have to deal with family, relationships and whatnot. So yeah, I can really relate to her. Girl, I am hungry. Hey. Hey, hey, hey girl. Look at you, you actually little kid, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Give you guys five.